first quarter. Hersey Hawkins rejected. And then no D needed on this one. LJ short on the shot. Alonzo swatted by Carl. Jerry satisfied. But the second quarter, a little different. David Wingate maybe travel, but the dish to Alonzo. Charlotte down by only six at the half. Go to the fourth, seven seconds left, down three. Utah, Carmelo swatted by Alonzo. What a comeback by the Hornets. Alonzo scores 21 with 11 boards and six blocks. The Hornets shot just 38%, but the Jazz weren't much better at 39%. Hornacek scored 18 for the Jazz. Sonics, Bulls, the Bulls not going to lie down, Carl. In the fourth, tied Scotty, Scotty Pippen. 22 points for Scotty. Just seconds left. Watch Sean Kemp going inside. Tries to get the put back. And watch him actually close his fist and punch the ball. You can't do that. That's illegal. Come on, Sean. You're better than that, man. After two Steve Kerr free throws, three-point lead. Sonics with a three. Kendall Gill, no. Gary Payton for the tie, no. Chicago holds on. The Bulls win their fourth straight and their tenth straight over the Sonics at Chicago Stadium, dating back to 1983. Kendall Gill at all scores with 23-18 in the second half. Hawks at the Pacers. Market Square Arena, Stacy Plastic. Kevin Willis, who had 19. We slow it down for you. Indiana was tough. Kenny Williams, Antonio Davis for the dunk. Pacers, one last chance to tie. Haywood Workman, the three. Off the back iron, and the Hawks win it. The Pacers were mad about a no-call late in the game when Reggie Miller missed a shot. Larry Brown said, I thought he got fouled three times. Miller said, I can't see how they missed that call. Dunking. He's been watching some Kevin McHale how-to highlights. The fall away by Diesel, and then... Baseline spin. Magic led by eight at the half. Second half, more variety for Mr. O'Neill. Hanging, a little touch. And finally, the fake. Oh, a little jump hook. 38 points, 15 boards. Magic romp. The Cavs have now lost four straight following an 11-game winning streak. The Cavs play without Doherty, Nance, and John Battle. Pistons, Suns from Phoenix. Closing seconds. Suns by one. Dumars the launch. You betcha. Dumars pumped. Pistons by one. Last chance for the Suns down one. KJ. KJ. A little contact. No call. No basket by Sir Charles. Oh, Detroit wins it by a point. Westy can't believe it. KJ can't believe it. Piston pride is back. On this road trip, they've now won at Seattle and Phoenix. The Pistons shoot 54% for the game, 70% in the fourth quarter. Rod Strickland to season I 28 and the Glide 28 as the Blazers win. The Nets over the Lakers, Coleman 25 and 18. Need it. Maybe it'd be the Pacers. Well, maybe Byron Scott would hit one. Indiana up 15 after three. But you know, Carl wouldn't mail it in. Strips poo. Goes to Stockton, finds Hortasek, and the mailman's there for the finish and the flush. Season high, 37 for Carl. Stockton, 11 assists. Mailman. Part of a 12-0 run. The 15-point lead was gone. Stockton, Chambers. Antonio Davis says, get that shot out of here. Utah, one last chance to tie. They need a three. It's not the mail. Air ball from Hortasek. Pacers hold on and win it. And how about Rick Smith's, an emerging force? Read his numbers. He's even convinced Reggie Miller that Reggie isn't option one. Miller said, we wanted the high percentage shot, so we went to the big fella. Wow. Pistons with three straight wins taken on Super Mario. Just a little finger roll, cross body, 21 points, 15 boards, two point game at the half. Maxwell then out on the break, leading the way. Goes in, misses, Super Mario finishes. MVP for Mario. What about Akeem? 32. Five Rockets in double figures. Here's something new. Mario Eli admitting that I wanted to get my double-double. I'll take one of those any night. Isaiah, now just two assists shy of 9,000. The fourth quarter up just one. D. Brown, tough shot, no. 24-second clock violation, and then Jimmy Oliver, the off-balance J. What about Dino? Weak. Blocked by Herb Williams. It was weak. Leads to Greg Anthony. Can he dunk? Oh, you betcha. Nick, 16 0 run. Chris Ford, South scoreless for the first 646 of the fourth. Nick's going for the record. Celts at 87. A three pointer. Tony Harris and the foul. Like his foot was on the line, but they called a three. Knicks don't get the record, but they do get their ninth straight W, and they move a half game ahead of Atlanta for the best record in the East. Ewing, 
35 points, 14 boards, and four blocks. The Nets and the Suns. Barkley and company came out charging. Barkley, the rebound. Give it to KJ. Look at AC run the floor. Lays it up and in. And then more Sir Charles. The steal. Give it to Cedric. Oh, book him, Dano. 18 points for Cedric. Suns up 15 at the half. Second half, more of the same. Left hand extension by KJ. The Gio Rillo likes it. The Suns win. Marley scores 14 of his 22 in the third. Who wins the power forward matchup? Barkley and Coleman both score 15, but Charles says of DC, he's got to raise the level of his talent to the level of his paycheck. The Admiral. 22 points in the first half. And a big night for Dale Ellis. He gets his 1,000th career three-pointer. Spurs by two, a close game. The Kings push back. How often do you see Olden Polonies with the finger roll? Kings up by five. Gary St. Jean hungry for a W. The Admiral a little too much. Wormy, Wormy, Nagel. Admiral, very succinct. Again, he scores 48. You never know when a guy's going to get 50. He didn't do it. He got 48. Also secures 16 boards. Dale Ellis. But Miami has its own problem. Third quarter, watch in the middle. Grant Log elbowed in the face by Chris Mills. Leaves the game with 20 points and seven boards. More weapons for Miami. Brian Shaw, the oop to Glenn Rice. Career high, 15 assists for Shaw. More Rice. The launch, splash. 33 points in your face, Mills. And talk about in your face. Bernie the mascot, watch. All over Deion Sanders with the silly string. Thank you, Bernie, from all of us. The Heat win it. Glenn Rice scoring 33 on 13 of 17 shooting. Miami is now 14 and 3 since the All Star break. Game of the first half, 15 points for Stacy Ogman. Utah answering with the guy who can dish it out and take it. John Stockton to Jeff Portisek for two. 25 for Jeff and the Jazz up three at halftime. That of the second. Mookie took over. Jay Humphreys in to score. Get out of here with that. And then the steal. Blaylock swipes it, gets it to Craig Elo, who hits. Utah answering end of the third. Stockton at the buzzer. Jazz within two. 15 seconds left and a screen play, a key play on Oscar night. Elo runs into the Felton Spencer screen. The referee calls the foul on Elo, then a technical on Elo. And the technical free throw actually forced overtime in the OT. Mookie with a three ball. 20 points for him that tied the game at 96 and then David Benoit stuffed by Kevin Willis. He gets a couple more chances and still can't get it to go. Meanwhile Mookie to Stacy for the jam and the plastic man expanding the Hawks win total as they take it in overtime. The Hawks hold their opponent to under 100 points for the sixth straight game. So so did his mustache after losing a bet with Otis Thorpe and Mario Ellie. Didn't matter at Robert Ory on the slam dunk. Wes Unsell didn't like that. Mitchell Butler to the rescue, the block on Robert Ory, and then at the other end, Gugliotta to Butler for the lay-in. More from Butler. The spin on the baseline, off balance, the hoop and the harm. Almost worth a while, but definitely worth another look. The former UCLA Bruin hangs and hits. He had 18 points in the game. Second half, Vernon Maxwell, the left knee undercut by Brent Price. Listed as day-to-day, -day, had to be helped off the floor by Carl Herrera, but Akeem staying to finish the job. Watch this, a fadeaway, a true fall away. He was beating the double team all night, 35 points for Akeem. The Rockets become the third team to clinch a playoff spot this season, joining Seattle and San Antonio. Maxwell day-to-day -day with that streak on the road intact. He uses Sadeo three for 10 of the first quarter. The Heat led by five at halftime, but then Doug Christie, the bigger guy, goes on Smith, and they wrestle a little bit. The Lakers surge with Tony Smith, although Cycli couldn't catch him here. Cycli 21 points and 21 rebounds onto the fourth quarter. Vlade, maybe an Oscar attempt. He had 13. Sadeo three, though, part of the 13-3 Laker run when it mattered most. He hits the three, 23 points for him. The Heat with a chance to tie. You see how much time remains in regulation as they're down three. That's Bimbo Coles. He gets one shot at the three. He's going to get another. Coles actually had three chances to tie the game, but Bimbo didn't make it happen. He shoot 39.5 percent in the game, 21 turnovers, and L.A. holds Miami to 11 points in the fourth quarter, snapping the Heat's four-game winning streak. 
And the Big Dipper in the house to watch the showdown. First quarter, O. Weber goes for a dip. The Warriors would trail early. Then Hardaway draws contact, body contorts, and count it. Magic up five. Third quarter, Shaq Daddy. He scored 29, two of them right here, but he did foul out Orlando by 10. The game turns on this play in the fourth. Mully, the steal, goes up for the shot. They said he wasn't shooting. The foul happened before Nelly loses it. He's tossed. The Magic led by nine after the free throws. Th under 30 to play, down one. The Warriors, Weber with the steal. Avery Johnson going to go for the win. Avery, the shot. Owens, rebounds, turns, spins, scores. Warriors by one. Greg Popovich, the assistant, likes it. Shaq's fouled out. Dennis Scott for the win. Blocked by Weber. Was it a good block? The Warriors win it on the replay. Does he get it on the way up? Watch him rub it on the rim. They count the block. The Warriors prevail by one. Weber scores 25 on 10 of 12 shooting. Penny Hardaway, 18 points and 15 assists. The Diesel, 29 with 12 boards. The Warriors stripped by the man-child, Sean Kemp, with the emphatic slam that the Worm can rebound. Nine in the first quarter, 12 in the first half. Puts it back and then caution flammable. Sam Perkins. Four for four from three in the second quarter. Sonics up 15 at the half. Spurs rallied in the second half. Willie Anderson, 19 to four run. But then Perkins eyes it, tries it, buys it. Sonics win it. Perkins hits six three-pointers for 27 points. The Spurs have lost their last three games versus Seattle. Rodman grabs 16 boards. David Robinson scores 27. Bill Cosby, Scotty Pippen. Blocked by Charles Oakley. Pippen will try it again. This time, the rejection by Patrick Ewing. Pippen doesn't take no for an answer. The spin in the lane, and he hits no block there. No John Starks, Stock Rivers, Charles Smith, but no problem for the Knicks. Anthony Mason, loose on the baseline, score it in the foul. Give me a chest bump with Derek Harper and Patrick Ewing. Thank you, Knicks up six after three. Then Hubert Davis seals it. He continues to pick up the slack in the absence of Starks. 24 for Davis. The Knicks win. They pull into a tie with the Hawks for the best record in the East. Will that get them any respect from Chicago? No. Scottie Pippen said the only way they'll respect the Knicks is if and when they win a title. Knicks not the hottest team in the league since the break. Miami is meeting the Suns. Charles Barkley didn't start the second half. The rejection from behind on Ronnie Cycli. Suns down one. Two seconds left. Tied at 112 now. Barkley blows the second free throw. We stay tied at 112. Kevin Lockery diagrams the final play. Two seconds left. The inbound of Bimbo Coles gets a good look. It won't fall. We go to overtime. Tied at 112. The Heat bench can't believe they blew an 18-point lead. in the OT, KJ to AC Green. The lay-in and the foul. And the Suns go on for the win. Double doubles for Green, Oliver Miller, and Charles Barkley. You know, Miami has never beaten Phoenix. House and maybe another one. Isaac Austin signs a 10-day contract and misses three quick shots. Mad Dog Carter, Isaac passed the ball. Second quarter. The rule is you can hang on the rim to protect yourself. Scotty Burrell hanging and protecting himself. Mad Dog coping. The Hornets too much. Two dribbles and the ball doesn't touch the floor. Morning at 24. Lone bright spot for the Sixers. Moses with this foul shot passes Elvin Hayes for third place on the all-time NBA career scoring list. But the Sixers lose. They've lost 19 of 20. Moses finished with nine points and said after the game, I knew I was close to the mark coming in. I just wish we could have won the ball game. Pacers at the Cavs. Just one of those nights for the Pacers. Reggie Miller, give it to Poole. Poole. Not even close. Derek McKee swatted a long night for Larry Brown. Derek McKee throws it away. Rick Smith, big Rick down the pipe. No. Byron Scott launching air. Larry Brown yelling. Doesn't get it from Kenny Williams. Any help? The shot is missed. Kenny, get it out of here. Pacers score 61 points. They lose. The 61 points is the Pacers' lowest NBA point total ever and the third lowest by any NBA team since the 24-second clock came into play. The Pacers shot just 29 percent. But would he play in this seven straight game? Sidney Lowe is hoping he would. First quarter, Chris Smith, Chuck Person to Leitner for the dish. Leitner, 10 points, 12 boards, seven turnovers. Second quarter, Akeem spotting up Stacey King the block. Akeem gets it back and nails with three rockets by three. Rudy T looking to keep that winning streak alive. Fourth quarter, a little over a minute in. Mario Elliott to Kenny Smith. 
and Akeem for the jam finish. Todd at 79, Akeem with 25. 10 seconds left, late into the inbound. Smith drives layup, Akeem the block. Smith is old rebound, put it in. Five seconds left, Otis Thorpe on the inbounds. Ellie the three, too much on it. Off the rim it goes. Rockets, they have seen enough. The Timberwolves win it by two. And give it up for the T-Wolves, Stacey King. 19 points, 13 boards, and a career-high seven. Get out of here. So he also helped hold Akeem down to 10 of 27 shooting from the floor. Blazers and Kings, Clyde Drexler hit a bucket in the final seconds to give the Portland Trailblazers the win over the Kings. Blazers were down by as many as 16 in the third. Bucks lost anyway. Same thing, different place. Dominique had 33 for the Clips, and they lose to the Nets.